How to edit the footer in Shopify. My name is Krause and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully edit the footer on your store to display everything that you want to basically. We are going to go over how to add text to your footer, how to add all of the links that you will actually have to show by legal requirements. So basically, if you aren't going to show these links on your footer, you can get into legal troubles. I'm going to show you how to set that up. Then I'm also going to show you how to display other kind of different product links and much more along the way. So to get started, you do want to head over to the Shopify dashboard right here. And then to get started, we do want to click on online store on the left. And right here, just click on customize to actually open up the Shopify theme customization page. Now, this method that I'm going to show you today is going to work for all of the themes out there. So no worries if you're going to use an other theme than a Dawn theme like me. This is also going to work fine on the refresh theme, sense theme, origin theme, and basically all of the other themes out there. So just open the Shopify theme editor. Now, I assume most of you are probably already familiar with this. Basically, you are going to have a general general preview right here on the left of all of the different sections and elements of your website. Then once you're going to select one of these elements, you are going to have the settings on the right. On the top, you can change the page that you want to edit. And on the top right right here, you can change the view of your website. But to get started, we are just going to navigate to the footer right here. So I'm just going to click on this. And as you can see, this is how our footer by default is going to look like. Now, once we've selected this, we are going to have the general footer settings right here on the right. Like for example, we can change up the color scheme. In this case, um, we can actually play around with this. Now, I would recommend you to actually set kind of brand colors for your store so that your store is going to feel more branded and so that you're going to generally have a higher conversion rate and so that people actually think that your store is premium. Now you can do so by simply just heading over to theme settings on the left and then under colors you can set new kind of color schemes, you can edit existing ones and so on. Now you can actually use tools like coolers.co to get an idea on basically what kind of colors you could use for your store as you can see this is actually going to generate some color palettes for you for completely free now i have to say not all of these color palettes are going to be perfect for your store but generally speaking these give you a pretty good idea on what you could actually use for your store but either way let's now get back to the footer so let's change the uh, let's change to the sections tab right here now under the footer right here you can basically select if you do want to add an email sign up function now in this case we can actually hide this if we do want to and we can also basically update the heading right here now as you can see i currently do have a custom font installed for this which i actually set up in one of my previous videos but basically if you do want to actually add a completely custom font onto your shop make sure to watch my previous tutorial otherwise you can just go to theme settings once again and change up the typography right here you are going to have a lot of other options uh, however if you do want to add a custom font any font out there you can watch my video on how to do that right here you can basically select all of the other things you can uh, allow follow and shop you can show the social media icons so basically to actually uh, as you can see right now this is set as on however there are any social media icons shown on the footer this is because we haven't actually set this up so to set this up once again i think the last time for this video but once again we will have to head over to theme settings and then right here under where is it social media right here you will then have to add your social accounts to this so as you can see i'm just going to put in a random random things right now and as you can see now these social media icons successfully got added and now they should actually redirect you to the page that you're going to see right here on the left Moving forward, you can actually also enable or disable the country and region uh, selection tool right here, as well as the payment badges right here, okay? Now, if you do actually want to add new elements onto your footer, you can do so by navigating to the footer on the left and then clicking on add block right here. So you're going to have four different options. First of all, menu, then brand information, then text, and then image. Now, you're also going to have apps uh, options depending on uh, the apps that you have installed on your store essentially but we aren't going to go over this right now so right here we can then actually for example add 
brand informations. This is once again going to be this same tab from the left. So let me actually just head back to the homepage. Uh, and then right here, uh, I'm actually going to delete this brand information tab. Uh, and then under add block, we can actually also add the menu. We're going to get into that in just a minute. And we can also add text. So if you do, for example, want to add a special story about your store or about your origin, you can do so right here. You can type in something like, um, where did we start? And I'm just coming up with this on the go. Uh, and then you can obviously put in the text right here. Um, generally speaking, I would recommend you to do this depending on your store. You can actually also use AI to generate a full on text for you. So if you aren't that creative, no worries. Okay. Now then you can actually also add an image onto your store. So in this case, I'm just going to select image. Then I'm going to use any of my I don't know, I guess I'm just going to use this image right here. Uh, this is now going to look something like this. As you can see, this isn't correctly uh, aligned. So I'm just going to change up the image width to make it a little bit bigger. So in this case, this image doesn't really fit in nicely. So let's maybe change this to, let's see how this one looks. A little bit better, but also not perfect. Basically, you will just have to play around with this. And depending on your own interests and depending on your store, this is going to be different from mine, obviously. Now, one element which we will have to add on our footer, uh, otherwise we can get into legal uh, troubles, essentially, is going to be this menu item right here. Now, basically, this is going to serve two different options. First of all, um, you can as you can see right here, you're going to have the quick links option. However, you can and you will have to set some custom pages onto this quick link section so that these are actually going to be visible for your store. So to do so, for now, just opt out of this customization window and then head over to navigation and then open up the footer menu. Okay, now we will have to add new menu items to this. Now, I assume by now you probably already have set up your legal pages. If not, I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. It's not that complicated, essentially. Just head over to settings right here. Then click on policies right here and right here you will then have to basically just go through this process. You will just have to generate these um, basically these legal requirements and you will then have to read through this and accordingly update this depending on your own store, depending on your location and so on. You can also enable that you do want to accept returns basically. Then you will have to turn this on right here. You will have to manage this depending on your return policies essentially and so on. So once you have set this up, you will just have to click on save. And now we will actually have to make these legal pages visible for our store by adding them onto the footer menu, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to click on add menu item. And then we are going to click on pages right here. And now basically opt out of this, sorry. Right here, we will then have to click on policies. And now we will have to select each of these. Um, basically, we will have to add each of these links. So let me just quickly go through this refund policy. Then let's also add the privacy policy as well as the contact information. And now once you've added all of them, you will just have to click on save on the top right. Now, obviously you can also add other menu items. For example, you could add a menu item called um, our best selling products. And I would actually recommend you to do this. Uh, and then you can just link to either a collection with your actual best selling product, or you can also just link this to an all products tab right here. You can also add this, you can get creative with this, but essentially just add this right here, click on save. And then when we are actually going to preview our online store, um, as you can see right here, we are going to have the quick links and these are going to look like this. However, I personally don't really like the layout of this. So let me quickly change this. We are going to just open up the themes editor right here. And now we can once again actually go to the footer and now we can get started to actually customizing this. We can drag this around. Actually, I'm going to delete the image right here and then I'm going to maybe drag. Okay, maybe I'm going to drag this right here. I'm actually also going to uh, disable this show email sign up function right here. And I think like this, it actually does look way better. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.